with the victim's heartbroken family now calling for change. The dangers on this road, I see it all the time. I live right there and I see it all the time. Jasmine Duncan lives close enough to the intersection of Kirby Hill Road and Indian Head Highway to see what happens here. So many car accidents, so many fatalities. But she never thought her own daughter would be a victim. So she left out early this morning. I didn't even get a chance to hug her. Police say 24-year-old Samira Jenkins was killed while walking in the crosswalk of Indian Head Highway. Police are investigating if she had the right of way. The driver stayed on the scene. Jenkins was on her way to a job interview. Just last night, we picked out what she was going to wear, and she left out this morning. I should have just took her. AAA calls Indian Head Highway the deadliest road in the D.C. region. Since 2007, AAA reports there have been 48 fatal crashes on Indian Head Highway, 61 deaths. Today's fatality is the first this year. We want to promote safety, not just on 210, but all the roadways in Prince George's County. Police say since they've increased patrols here, they've seen everything. Text messaging. We see drivers operating on the influence of alcohol or drugs. But most importantly, people just not paying attention. I think they, have, they feel they have the right to speed, you know. Ron Weiss is one of many residents advocating for a speed camera along 210. The proposed legislation recently passed from the Maryland House to the Senate in Annapolis. The nearly 60 deaths on uh, Indian Head in the last 10 years have been pedestrians. For mothers like Yasmeen Duncan who have lost their own, a change can't come soon enough. I'll never get my daughter back. Jenkins made it to the northbound lanes of 210 before she was struck and killed. Prince George's County Police are still investigating to see if she had the right of way when she was crossing the street. This is going to be an in-depth investigation. Prince George's County Police are also working on what's going on at these pedestrian crosswalks, making sure that they're up to code, working with the Maryland State Highway Administration to better the crosswalks here at 210. Reporting live, I'm Tracy Wilkins. Doreen, back to you in the studio. Tracy, thank you. Take a look.